Hey, no argument here. Screaming out F her right in the you know where is rude. It's vulgar, it's crass, but should it be illegal? <laughs> nope. So Heather Gillis, a reporter with NTV in Newfoundland, experienced the dreaded phenomena of someone yelling F her right in the P or F H R I T P as it's come to be known. Not sure when this trend began or why, and folks, if you really must sonic bomb a TV journalist, can't we just keep it to the PG rated Baba Booey or hit him with the hind? In any event, according to a CBC report, Gillis tracked down the cad who uttered the expletive, Justin Penton. And Penton was criminally charged under Section 175.1 of the Criminal Code for causing a disturbance. But recently, Judge Colin Flynn, referring to a Supreme Court of Canada decision, didn't think that the alleged offence met the legal requirements of causing a disturbance in a public place. Alas, so much for Heather Gillis' claim that the FHRITP outburst made for a sexual harassment and even a workplace safety issue. Hey, I know these interruptions suck for journalists, but come on Gillis, having your feelings hurt doesn't quite qualify as sexual harassment and to call that a safety issue? That's laughable. And if anyone out there is thinking, oh, easy for you to say, Manzoid, given that you're in this insulated studio and you don't have to deal with this rubbish, well, friends, I can say we experience the FHRITP disturbance almost every single time we venture out to shoot a Generation Trudeau segment. You want proof? Check out these highlights, or are they low lights? <laughs> <laughs> it's the first one tonight. Invite to the White House. Would, would you You're meet the right now. Second one. Woo! Yes. Oh, war. War with whom, sir? I would right First one of the 2018. <laughs> Ooh, classy. Now, in light of the judge's decision, some are calling for new laws to be introduced to ban such lewd outbursts. I bet the advocates for such laws are the same censorship-happy folks who support M103, the so-called anti-Islamophobia motion. But here's the crux of the matter. Isn't the risk of being outed as a vulgar dimwit enough of a penalty? Because I'll also bet you that given the unwanted attention Penton has received, he undoubtedly wishes he kept his mouth zipped that day. Same for Sean Simoes. Remember him? Check out Mr. Smoes defending his friend's use of vulgarity and then adding some more vulgarity of his own. Simoes is the guy in the yellow shirt that shows up halfway through the clip. 2-1 is better than Hey, hey, hey. Um, we so were you guys wait hold on, hold on. Were you guys waiting around to see if you could effort in the pee me live on TV? Yes. Is that what you were waiting? Not you, but yes. You would humiliate me on live television? Not you. Are you actually filming this? Well, because you know what? I'm yeah, sick yeah. of this. I get this every single day, 10 times a day I'm by rude guys like I'm you. I'm sick of it. Like, the hilarious. I don't care what Treat. you say. It has okay. nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with uh, when, uh, when you talk into my microphone and say that into my camera to viewers at the station I work at, it is disrespectful and degrading to me. I don't care. Me. It's Okay, why is it so funny though? Why is it so it funny? It is f***ing hilarious. Why? We're not the only people. It happened in England. You know that it's it, old? It's it's really not funny. It's been like there. a year. It's been longer than You're that. lucky there's not a f***ing vibrator in here, like in England, because it happened all the time. It's f***ing amazing. I respect it. If your mom has saw you talk oh, like my mom would die laughing eventually. Alas, this report went viral and Samoz was not only humiliated, he also lost his job at Hydro One. While he was hired back some six months later, I'd say half a year without a paycheck is quite the kick in the you-know-where. Which goes to show that while one may be free to act like a pig, sometimes there can be consequences when it comes to embracing such a right. However, what we don't need is yet more laws telling us what we can and cannot say, all in the name of protecting people from having their feelings hurt. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, have you heard the news? The Rebel has a brand new app. Download it and take the Rebel wherever you go.